All right, guys, welcome back to another Victoria Events with Caleb Shaw. It is June 5th already. We are in the month of June, so let's just jump right into it. Ladies, I'm excited to have you here. I'm very excited for what you guys have going on. But for those that don't know you, if you wouldn't mind, please introduce yourself and tell them who you're here with. Well, uh, thank you for having us. Yes, My name is Cheryl Wallachow. I'm the owner of the Gray Barn Mercantile. Gotcha. And my buddy? This I'm Laura Tucker. Outstanding. Well, I know everybody knows you all, but I wanted to make sure we introduced you just in case. You're a friend of mine, and you guys are somebody that I like and I want to support, and you make it very easy with what you have going on to get behind it and support it because well, it's you. a really cool. I had the pleasure of stopping by the Gray Barn yesterday, and wow, that place was just outstanding. Tell me a little bit about what made you ever start the Gray Barn, what it is, and how you got to this point? Well, the Gray Barn started as a wedding and event design company, and then I decided to branch out into um, brick and mortar. Um, there's just so many things that I love that are eclectic, that are different, that are antique, vintage, that I think should be brought to Victoria so people can see. I think eclectic was the perfect word because when I walked in there yesterday, I walked up and we both said the same as that thing. I said, this is so, and you said a click. And I was like, yes, like it, it, we finished each other's sentence on it. And that was just the best word I could come up with. And it was, I don't like shopping. I'm just going to be honest. Like I'm a boy and I don't like shopping much, <laughs> but that was a cool store. Like I walked in there and it was just all over the place in the best of ways. And I don't, I know that sounds random, but it was so cool. And as an example, you brought several of the things in here because one of the big things you guys do is support local artists, yes. which I think is just phenomenal. Tell me a little bit about that. So we have uh, paintings uh, that we uh, hang for free for lo two local artists, Demi Wendowski and Trent Brickman. And uh, uh, we're just here to support and get Victoria to know our local artists. And so they hang their art in there. Well, and a lot of, I would guess for an artist is you've made this painting and now what? You know, Exposure. like I put this into my heart, into this, this, this piece of art and I have nowhere to put it. And you know, it looks great in my living room, but maybe I'd like to share this with somebody. So I think that's really yes, neat exactly. that, that you're giving them an outlet to do that and, and you know, let people explore that artistic side and creative side of them and, and more so local supporting local and helping each other. Like I, I think that's phenomenal. Yes. And so, and, and additionally, it doesn't stop with just the art though. Like a lot of what you guys have in there as far as products and stuff also come from local people here in the community that are trying to, to contribute and make things. And yes. so, Tell me a little about these because I'm super excited for both of these. So uh, our local artists are not only just painters and creators of wall art. We also have Toya Stone who is a, she essentially is a homesteader and she makes everything out of dried flowers. She also, she does so many things for the community with. She really does. She, Toya is one of my favorites. Toya, we love you. We're very <laughs> we proud you, of Toya. all that you do. And I'm she very excited She rehabs birds. This. She does everything. So what these are is she she dries flowers from her farm and puts them in necklaces and she's going to continue doing more products in the store so we're going to continue to support her by giving her an avenue to show her product and i was excited i scooped in you guys had a very successful grand opening by yes, the way it was wonderful it, Thank it was you. a great job on that it was spectacular and i was able to sneak in and grab my own toya stone product here <laughs> and surprised my wife with this and i got big brownie points and <laughs> so i did an excellent job with this toy you did amazing she, and she really does. She's one of those people in this community that I would argue that half the town has no idea how much she does to give back in so many different areas. And so that, to, for you to put this in your store and stuff, thank you. This is, this is phenomenal. Yes, she's wonderful. And this, tell me about this soap though. I'm smelling it. It smells so good over here. This is one of my favorite things in the store. This is um, from Ginger Bee. She's also local um, to the Crossroads area. She actually sells French antiques. She goes to France. Uh, two or three times a year and she handpicked these soaps from Provence and she brings them back. So we offer these in the store and these are very addicting. They are great for people with eczema. So they're not irritating. They're made with um, donkey milk. Um, they're made with shea butter. They are made with things that aren't irritants to your skin and they smell amazing. You can put them in your car so that they can be a fragrance in your car. You can put them in your drawers. You can put them in your closet. And I use them for soap, like for actual soap. Well, and, and, and so does my, my whole my family. My wife has been on a kick of trying to get away from chemically laden products and stuff that yes. is loaded with chemicals and cancer causing things and all of this. And so one of the things that we've been switching is deodorants and soaps. And, 
and all this. So to have an alternative, especially when it smells so good. It smells so good. Like everybody is, is literally addicted to it. It's it's. Well, mine. I carried this up the elevator and I got to smell it the whole way and I did not want to give it back. I almost had to wrestle you for it. And so, no, this is, this it's is amazing. outstanding. And then I also, I, we cannot go on. We need to, but we cannot go on without talking about this guy over here. <laughs> I, I spotted him at the store. He's my favorite. Tell me a little bit about him real quick. Well, I've been looking for a lamp like this for a long time and I haven't found a wholesaler that had one. But I want unique items in the store that you can't find anyone where else so that's why we have him in the store now um, another thing that we do is all of our textiles are from India they're handmade in India most of our products are from India Thailand uh, the Philippines we do not buy from China if we do it's a complete mistake um, because we don't support that so we yes, want to buy either local American made or from India that's that's our main focus in the store understood understood so where can people find you? I know you guys have relocated to this new building. You've had the grand opening, but for those that aren't aware yet, where are you guys located now? We're at uh, 1305 East Airline Suite A. Gotcha. We're right between the nail salon and local pet. Roger that. And are you on Facebook? Yes, we're on Facebook. We're also on Instagram. Gotcha. Um, so you can find us there. And it's the, the Gray Barn design? The Gray Barn those? Mercantile. Okay. And then the Gray Barn design is our wedding, which you can also check out. And we will also have fresh flowers in the store. Um, and we don't do the standard, you know, FTD floral bouquets. We this do, is a unique. We do of out of the box kind of um, designs for you that you won't find anywhere else in so your the next floral time shops. I'm in trouble with my wife, and I'm in you the doghouse. I can call you on the side, and you'll get me out of there. Yes, I absolutely. Got it. They're got all it. custom made. We do custom orders. We do installations. We do whatever you like. Wonderful. Well, again. Thank you for bringing this to the community. Thank you for helping local artists and, and giving them a voice. And, and thank you for all the dog rescues that you let me and your husband go on and that you tolerate because we just, I know you're an animal lover too. And so thanks for not like throwing rocks at me every time I go help your, your husband on an animal rescue or something. And so he's a good guy. Uh, Wade and Carter in the mornings, if you don't check them out, make sure you do. Anything else I'm forgetting? No, I think we're good. good. Well, ladies, you do a phenomenal job. We're very excited. The Great Barn Design, Great Barn Mercantile. Go check them out. Uh, we'll be right back with our next guest. Hey guys, John from the Chopping Block. I wanted to go over how to trim a brisket with you guys today. So first, what I like to do, open my brisket, get it open, get all the myoglobin out, and then you're gonna wanna just cut the end of it right off. Cut in right into that deckle. We'll kinda see what you're working with all on the inside. Then you're gonna wanna come in on the bottom side, start to take that deckle and deckle fat off. Kinda get that brisket all smooth and as uniform as you can in thickness and come in across the top, take off some of that fat and unwanted silver skin on the top just so you get a good tender bite every bite. And you wanna come in down all of your long side and give yourself a fresh edge. Take a little bit off of each side, get everything fresh. They're gonna come down to your flat on the bottom side. You wanna just take some of that extra stretchy skin off there. It's not gonna have as ideal of a bite. Flip it over and trim some of that last little bit of fat on the top so you don't get hot spots in your seasoning. Round everything off, make everything nice, neat, and uniform. I prefer about a quarter inch of fat, and boom, there's your brisket. All right, guys, we are back with our next guest, and, and man, did they have something really special going on that I'm really excited to hear about, so let's just jump right into this. Young lady, if you wouldn't mind, please introduce yourself and let them know who you're here with. Hi, Caleb. My name is Rosemary Bazan. I am with Emmy Science Foundation. I am the founder of the foundation. And uh, we're here to talk about what the foundation's about and what we have coming up. Yes, ma'am. When did this, I know that the event we're about to get into is going to be the second annual fundraiser, but tell me a little bit about the, the Emmy Science Foundation and when it got started and, and what its mission is and what it stands for and why it sure. was started. Sure, absolutely. Um, Emmy Science, as most people know, she was my daughter who uh, suffered a spinal cord injury. She was in a car accident on her way to work at Formosa. And at, right in front of gate six, she was rear-ended by another large vehicle and she was paralyzed as a result of the accident. Um, she passed away seven months after her injury. And um, so we basically took life insurance money and said, we have to do something great with this. And so we decided to create the Emmy Science Foundation to start up that. And with the foundation, um, initially we were focusing on helping individuals who had traumatic brain injury and spinal cord injury. And, and, and thank God that that's a small population for our area, mm -hmm. we, um, and, and we're thankful for that. But on the other hand, it kept the foundation just kind of idle for a while. Um, so we broadened it 
So now we are able to help and we're more than happy to help other people in our communities, surrounding areas throughout Texas who have a medical need, who needs a wheelchair, who needs a standing frame, who needs any kind of medical equipment and they're having insur uh, insurance and um, issues with obtaining those items. Uh, so we help out with that. Um, we do scholarships. To date we've done awarded seven scholarships. Um, we have two scholarships available. It's a memorial scholarship and then one specifically for first responders since I'm a 23-year-old paramedic Thank career yes, uh, medic. Uh, so of course I want to have somebody fill my shoes when I finally decide to retire. Um, so we have uh, two scholarships. One's a $2,000 scholarship and the other one's a $1,500 scholarship which is renewable for a second go-round. Wow. So if you've been awarded a scholarship the following year, you can renew that for a second go around to finish your degree to ensure that we are putting our public servants into the field. I hope I can get, first off, just let me say thank you because yes. I'm a newer parent. You know, I've got a, I've, I've got a three-year-old at home and, and thank you for taking something terrible and finding a way to give back in a positive way with a silver light because that could be debilitating and I'm sure it was yes. and it, it was a ripple effect that was felt far and wide in your family yes. and and for you to it would be very easy to fall back and just get run over by this and let it control every aspect of your life in the worst phase but the fact that you guys have found a positive way to shine a light on her and shine back in your community and help others in her name Thank you for that. Sincerely, from the bottom of thank my you. heart, it touched me, and I'm and thank you. And also for being a paramedic, and in our community, that my son, we had to call the paramedics because my son had a febrile seizure, and they came in like the Calvary, and mm -hmm. they helped him. And so first responders, my dad was an officer, they, they, they have a special place in my heart. And yes. so, again, thank you. You have taken something that would destroy most people, rightfully so, and you've made something special out of it in her name, and I think yes. that is just phenomenal. Right. And you guys, it doesn't even stop there with this fundraiser event. When you guys say you're doing a, like, you are doing something spectacular. Like, this is so cool, and, and if you don't mind, one of the things you all are doing is a sportsman raffle, and this is one of the best raffles I've ever seen in this Absolutely. community, and you guys have done a great job. I see 43 firearms on this thing. Yes, yes. And, and, and I'm sorry, I'm still in on your thunder. No, go ahead. So <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the, this second annual fundraiser event. This is your second one. I'm sure you've had some lessons learned. Oh, yes. Let's, let's, let's talk about it. If people don't know what this event is, what is it, and how can they be a part of it? Okay, so we do, um, our, once a year we do a fundraiser. It is um, a two-part. So the sportsman raffle is part of the fundraiser event and that's uh, basically our raffle. This year we have 43 firearms. We've got 10 $500 gift certificates uh, for hunter supply so that what you can buy your ammo. You, you nailed it. Yes, you win one exactly. Of these guns and you get ammo for yes. it. You can't so lose there. We were fortunate enough this year to have some of our, our uh, supporters donate. We have a duck hunt trip for two, a morning duck hunt trip, and we also have another a uh, fishing trip, uh, guided fishing trip for four people for that wow. as well. We've got some crossbows, some archery uh, stuff on there, uh, custom cutting board with a knife set. That's a really, really nice set. If you yeah. are into culinary stuff, you're going to really love that custom one. knives, they're, 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 they are, they're sharp. Yes. That, I know. No pun intended, or pun intended, but they, they, <laughs> they, they are, really are. Those are something are, spectacular. Really, really. Um, and then we also have, um, obviously, we have all these guns. What are you going to do with it? You're gonna to have to have a gun safe. Yes, ma'am. Got a 12. Uh, it holds 12 firearm in there. It's really big. I can't hardly even move it myself. Good. That's um, the perfect kind you need. And then to to you know once we get all the sporting and hunting and stuff out of our system, we have a five day cruise to Cozumel. Uh, thanks to Angel Lucy Funeral Home for for that donation as well. And then if you're into sports, we have two courtside. Uh, seats for the Spurs game you get to get with um, the owner of Angel Lucy, uh, Cesar Ornelas, and schedule what game you want to attend wow. for that oh, cool. for next season. So lots of good stuff on our raffle. They are $20 a ticket. You can call me. You can reach out to any of our committee members, and I can give those numbers here shortly. Do you guys have a Facebook page with this information on we there do, as well? We do. Okay. We do. It's Emmy Signs Foundation. It's, it's pretty easy. E-M-M-Y. Signs, S A E N Z. Uh, we do have a Facebook page with all of that information on there as and well. And if, if for some reason I'm out of town or something and I can't make it to this, 
could I still reach out to you through the page and make a donation? Absolutely. Or, you know, I won't be in town, but can I still buy raffle tickets for this? Yes, you and don't, don't have, have to be present, to, be to, present win? to win. Good. Absolutely Good. not. We will, if you're not there that night, uh, we will make phone calls the next day and let all of the winners know, hey, you won this item. Um, we also collect your email information so that we can have, send it to you in writing Wonderful. what your prize was. That way, when you go collect your prize, um, it's on paper. We also contact all of the people who have donated items and um, we'll be expecting the winners to come and collect. Wonderful. So I can reach out to the Facebook page yes. or we can go to www.emmysciencefoundation.org. Um, any of those places are good to hit you up and find it. And then also, if you know Claire Ramos, Janie Alvarez, La, La Revista with this, Emin Alvarez and Michael Bazan, any of those people, you can hit them up as well. Absolutely. Am I forgetting anything, young lady? Um, so we do have our second part of the fundraiser. That, we're forgetting the second part. <laughs> Save me, thank you, yes ma'am. So the second part is um, a fundraiser dance. Um, last year we named it a gala. Uh, we're just kind of naming it a dance because people were with the assumption that you had to come dressed to the tee for the event. We want you to come comfortable and enjoy the night of dancing. This year our performers will be a band called Exclusivo out of Rosenberg area and they're gonna be our opening band that doors open at seven, and then um, we're gonna end the night with Jay Perez. Wonderful, okay. wonderful. Well, don't laugh at me too much if you see me white boy dancing <laughs> out there, because I'm overly white, but I still like it, and so. Well, I mean, and Jay is a very versatile performer, so it's yes, not just Tejano music, it's country music, it's old rhythm and blues. I mean, he's just and a very versatile place. player. Awesome. Awesome. So it's going to be a, a good dance for everybody. And this is enjoy. June 10th at the Victoria Community Center, uh, the Dome. 7 p.m. to midnight. They can find it on the Facebook page. Yes. Anything else I'm forgetting? I think that's about it. Well, again, come and join you. us. Thank yes. you so much. This is this is really it's inspiring what you've done. Thank and so you. keep it moving forward. Thank you so yes. much, uh, guys. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back with our next guest. Since 1932, Walton and Volk has been closing mortgages and doing it the right way. The reason why the Volks opened up a bank um, at the height of the Great Depression was because the bank needed to be opened at the height of the Great Depression. And it was good for the community at that time. A lot of the banks were going under. In order to keep that community sound and stable, it was something that they did. I think that that says something about who Wallach and Volk was 85 years ago. And the only way you get to continue to do it is if you consistently do it great. And we plan on doing this for another 85 years. guys we are back and I'm pumped for this one this is something that I don't know much about but I was really excited to learn and it was just cool so without further ado my brother if you wouldn't mind please introduce yourself and let them know who you're here with uh, my name is uh, Lorenzo Ramos everybody knows me as Lynch Show, and I'm here uh, representing the Victoria Super Show my brother Matt Sanchez and I have an 84 Cadillac got it so before we get into the cars because those things were really sweet what is the Victoria Super Show if I just moved to town and I have no idea what this is what is it and why am I missing out by not knowing? Okay, the uh, Victoria Super Show, uh, the title Super Show should really be able to explain it. Uh, it's going to be a show that we got going on at the Victoria Community Center. Right now, we're already taking a pre-registration. We're already hitting over 300 entries. Oh, yeah. Lee. So, I mean, we're going to be able to be in the dome, the annex, the arena, all outside. Uh, it's going to be a full day, full fun going on. Um, the company that we're linked up with, uh, they actually do 46 uh, car shows in the nation. So, I mean, he's doing car shows almost every This is what they day. do. This is, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I get to go on tour. Matt also gets to go on tour also as well. Last year I was able to, lucky I was able to qualify for Vegas for the finale. And it's just something, man, that I really want to bring to our hometown. So that's what we're doing. And so so somebody like me, I've never been to, to, a, to a car show and, and you've got, you know, what can I expect out of there? Do you, I know obviously, you know, they're gonna to get to see the lowriders in a yeah. second, which are awesome. You know, and but you guys, these, these cars, you know, you were talking earlier. You said they're they're gonna be breaking cars and stuff yeah. like that. What, what does that mean for okay. somebody that's ignorant like me? Like, <laughs> tell me some of the fanciness of this. Okay, so um, the way it goes, um, it's gonna be you get everything's gonna be all the way around. It's not just gonna be just so much lowrider cars, but I mean, you're gonna have the show cars out there, which uh, those are gonna be also known as like, like trailer queens, you know, cars that are over. 150, almost half a million dollars already Man. into them. And the ones you don't so, touch them, you just yeah, look at so them. Yeah, so that would <laughs> yeah. be right there on display. Another thing, you're also going to have cars with the same amount of value in them. And those right there, it's built the exact same way, just not the finish is different. Um, 
completely off frame, same amount of money put into them, and those will be out in the hot pit. So those right there, they'll be hitting back bumper. Whenever you hit back bumper, it's uh, it's like uh, being able to make it up to the top of Mount Everest. Not everybody can do it, but whenever you do it, it's a great. Yeah. So it'll be right there, so we can have vehicles out there. They're going to be hitting back bumper. Whenever vehicles hit back bumper, the front tire is normally right at about 86 inches to 112 inches. So... I'll be right Good there, Lord, coming right man. back down. So you'll be able to see that, and of course you'll be able to see the concert and food. We got some of the best food that we're going to be having out there. We're going to have uh, street tacos out there. We're going to have brisket nachos out there, brisket plates out there, hot dogs. Man, it's food, it's, cars, music, and dead. Uh, and you, like, yeah. you got all the bases yeah, covered, man. my brother. I mean, what more do y'all need, right? And so, <laughs> so this is the Victoria Community Center this Sunday. 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Um, you guys, they, where can they find this if they want to check it? Do you guys have a Facebook page that they can yeah. check out? Or what's the best place if people want to go check this out? To, if you want to, to check it out on Facebook, it's going to be a group. It's Victoria Super Show on the groups. Okay. And on Instagram, just Victoria Super Show. Okay, cool. And now, you guys let me check out your rides, which I'm very grateful for. Because I can tell you guys have put a lot of work into that, a lot of effort, and probably a lot of money, too. And I won't mm -hmm. get you in trouble with the <laughs> but we... Uh, uh, I can tell you guys put a lot into those things. So we had two different ones going on. Tell me about your car first, and then we'll tell you about mine. But I, I liked it. Tell me all about it, the color, the style, all of it. Uh, I have a 96 uh, Cadillac Fleetwood. Um, the name on that one is Daisy Rose. And uh, that one right there, uh, I did all the painting myself. Um, so, yeah, we got uh, 13 different shades of pink on it. Um, got the interior done over here local. Everything on that car is local. That car has mm -hmm. never been out of town at any other shop. So everything's here. Airbrushing was done here. Uh, tributes to Victoria on there on the hood and on the trunk. All that's right there. Uh, been working on that car. That car is actually my son's car. It was supposed to be his high school car, but I got a little bit too carried away with it. And so after, that happens. Yeah, so after we did the chrome suspension and everything, I told him he ain't driving it. And what do you call so I don't mess it up the the hydro is it the hydros the hydraulics hydros, what's hydraulics it? cool and then you got all that on there yeah. and yep outstanding yeah. and then that that pink Cadillac you can see that thing coming man when mm -hmm. you said thirteen shades of pink on it yeah thirteen shades of pink well it looks good man you did a good <laughs> job on it tell me about yours brother I got a nineteen eighty four Cadillac Coupe de Ville and his name is Crystal Bloom I like it Crystal what else it do my friend it has hydraulics has the interior has a little bit of engraving got some gold gold wheels on it how long you been working on this one man I had the car for about. Six, seven years now yeah so i bought it it was it was it was painted but not to this kind of caliber me and my friends redid it i had my good friend uh martin gomez paint it and then added all the engraving flaked it interior chrome suspension hydraulics i did all that outstanding well it looked great man you guys did an awesome job if i just moved to town and maybe i want to get into the lowrider scene or want to be a part of what you guys are doing what's the best way to reach out find you guys and, and, and tap into this world and, get, and, and hang out with you all. Yeah, I mean, like I said, just find us on Instagram. I actually mm -hmm. got a shop that I actually do all the stuff at, so. Awesome, we awesome. Well, we'll, we'll make sure we, we tag that, the, the Instagram stuff and the Facebook stuff and the deal. And guys, am I forgetting anything? No, man, I don't think Man, so. well, we had a ton of fun. Thanks for showing the cars. Thanks for bringing them up here. And guys, Victoria Community Center this Sunday, June 11th, 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Victoria Super Show, you don't want to miss it. It's mm -hmm. awesome. We'll see you there, and we'll be right back with the chopping block. cover about a 100 mile radius around Victoria, but if your job is big enough, we'll travel further. We're a turnkey solution for, for whatever your demolition needs are. We'll, we'll get the permits, we'll do the demo, we'll do the cleanup, and we'll do the final grading on your property. We do full-scale demolition, whether it's a commercial building or a chicken coop. Outside of demolition, we also do interior or selective demolition. If you have something you want us to take a look at, give us a call. Quotes are free. All right, guys, we are back with the Chopping Block Victoria Mill of the Week, my favorite segment. And we are super pumped because in, in addition to being how awesome they normally are, they have a food truck now. The Chopping Block has a food truck. How does it work? You're parked out in front. 
How's, how do they, if I want to come in, buy dinner that night, and get lunch on there, how's the food truck work? So right now, we're kind of, uh, tentative schedule is going to be Tuesday through Friday, uh, about noon to sold out. And sold out, you better get there quick because I've had this stuff, we're gonna have more of this stuff, and it moves fast because it's delicious, man. We sold out in three hours yesterday. <laughs> Congratulations, that's an, that, that's an earned problem right there from being so dang good. So thank you for that and talk to me what we got here. Oh. These are our Britchard, brisket, Britchard. <laughs> Dude, they make you talk funny because they're so loaded and so good. I, I got you, brisket. These are our brisket nachos. So it's two layers of brisket, chips, uh, queso, and barbecue sauce. We top those with jalapenos if you'd like. I wasn't feeling jalapenos this morning. This is our brisket parfait. It's got uh, cheesy potatoes. Brisket, queso, cheese potatoes, brisket, queso, top with sauce. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that, but I'm just gonna dive in. The br brisket par, what did you call it? Brisket parfait. Brisket parfait. Are you showing me? Mm -hmm. Wow. Guys, brisket parfait is quite, quite possibly the most delicious thing I've ever had. I'm spitting all over my desk. And the brisket nachos, I had these yesterday. They are delicious. Guys, go check out the Chopping Bot. We got the new food truck. Got brisket nachos, brisket parfait, all of it. TCBmeats.com. Am I forgetting anything? We'll see you next week. Thanks so much for tuning in to Victoria Events with Caleb Shaw. Make sure you comment down below. Like the post. Share the post. It really helps the algorithm. If you haven't done so already, make sure you follow our page. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any episodes. And if you have an event coming on you want featured on Victoria Events, shoot us a message. We'd love to help you get the word out there. Lastly, make sure you support our sponsors. We could not do this show without them, so we're very grateful. Thanks so much, Victoria, and we'll see you at the next one.